I can't think of any good reason to accept that one person has all the answers. That one individual, a singular person, has the truth. Not merely an aspect of it, or something which is easily confirmable, or simply, well, very easy to confirm in some way, shape or form, but the big picture. And not as in, like, well, an idea, but as in absolute truth. And yet, people are dazzled by the charisma of many a cult leader who would claim just that. Or even if they don't claim it, they suggest it. They have absolute truth. Any question you put towards the Indian guru or the New Age mystic or the, I don't know, esoteric um, believer in some way, shape or form, some person who claims some kind of expertise, a person who claims to be a, a druid shaman, I've heard that before, or something else, you name it. The titles don't matter. They claim to be, well, perpetuators of an absolute truth. Hmm. An absolute truth and they cannot confirm. They can merely express ideas and they make people think. So when someone says a question, it could be quite a direct question, very, very specific. They will mull it over and spew out some, well, what can I call it? Half-baked philosophy, which oversimplifies everything and therefore makes their point seem to be utterly true. So you could throw the most specific kind of question, incredibly complex, to try and clarify something to the absolute degree, and they throw you pipe dreams. Yeah. They throw you bunkum, basically. that They just simply give you a load of tosh. Because that's easy to do. It's easy to be a person sitting in a throne or upon a, upon a pillow or in some kind of comfy chair with people looking with ad, well, admiration. And very often people who believe are follow, you know, following you, they're all around you, they're all sitting there admiring. And you can simply say, of the mind, I bring forth the greatest truth. And the truth is within. And you must find the truth within you in order to understand the world around you. And, you know, some overtued piece of uh, sputum which flies forth like so many over-digested philosophies that means absolutely nothing is the greatest answer any guru can give you. Is that what you want? Is that what there is? Is that all you can offer? Something which is so general... And so brr, magical in its way that it has no value whatsoever. Is that the best you can do? Is that all we can do? Just simply throw out stuff? Throw out bunkum? Because, you know, I'm not impressed. You know, watch some of the videos of Osho Rajneesh, the great Indian guru who died in the early 90s. I believe he died in 91, not entirely sure. But basically, he is one of those people. Or Eckhart Tolle. And to a degree, Deepak Chopra. People who claim to have answers and yet they provide hardly anything at all.